Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Castro Valva Part 2. I still feel like this is one of the weirdest titles, like I, it it doesn't roll off the tongue. Castro Valva. Castro Valva. Um, I hope you're all doing really well. If you are new here, my name is Marie Claire. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're all having a lovely day. How's life? Like, let me know. How's life? I hope everything's going well. Um, do I have anything to say, really? I mean, you're not watching this on YouTube. Honestly, probably not until the end of October. And it's currently the end of September. So, yeah. Yeah. It just feels weird filming so far in advance. Uh, at the weekend, I went to the Royal Albert Hall to watch Harry Potter in concert and it was my first time at the Royal Albert Hall and it was mind blowing. We were in one of the boxes and it was just, oh, it was just everything I wanted. The composer of the music for the Order of the Phoenix was there as well, Nicholas Hooper. And it was just super cool experience and I adore the Royal Albert Hall. So uh, I will 100% be going back. It's probably my favorite venue I've ever been to just as well because of the history and uh, the architecture is just phenomenal. So that was really exciting. I haven't got anything coming up for a few weeks until I had to head off to France, which is as you, if you've been here for a while, you'll know that my dad lives in France and I haven't seen him for a long time for obvious reasons. So that's really exciting. That's kind of what's keeping me going at the moment. And then it will be the countdown to Christmas, and then it will be my 30th. No, let's not talk about that. I've just rambled. We're friends though, right? We talk. Yeah? Cool. Um, yeah, so let me know in the comments how's life. I really, really hope it is uh, going well compared to this time last year. Um, yeah, I just hope everyone is safe and healthy and as back to normal as possible and I hope you've all been able to see your loved ones. So, I really am in a chatty mood today. God, brace yourselves guys. So, I loved part one. I'm super intrigued by part two. I'm really excited to see where this goes but I also, I, I've said this before, when, when a first part is really good, you, I almost find that I'm apprehensive for what's to come because I want it to be as good. And especially this being, you know, the fifth Doctor's first story. I want it to be good. Castro Valva part one just went up on Patreon. And, um, sorry, I've sprayed so much hairspray because I've slicked my hair back. Um, and so many of you are saying that you think I'm going to love this era and that I can already see qualities of the 10th and 11th Doctor. More so I can see the 11th Doctor at the moment, but also I didn't realise how young, like Peter Davison was my age, he's 29 when he got this role, which is crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'll stop rambling. Uh, let's crack on if you're interested in the full length. They're all over on Patreon. Let's go. He's like Davros. What's he talking about? The excitement's changing his biochemistry. It's 
It's only temporary, but perhaps he can help us. We must take him back. It's not safe. But the doctor's our only chance, unless we can find some way of getting the temperature down. I command you an override, Nissa. I'll have to explain how to vent the thermo buffer. Listen very carefully. Don't worry, doctor. We'll get you straight back to the zero room. Good, good. Now, as soon as four console functions are restored, you can start to reprogram the architectural configuration. Uh, I'd better show you. Tegan's like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Ooh. In part, certainly, even as an enemy, you're useful. But how much more useful as an ally? Now, have you got that? Yes. We're converting the mass of the deleted TARDIS rooms into momentum. I still don't understand about momentum. Oh, mass in motion thrust, if you like. Time for lessons later. Well? Adric's not here, Doctor. You see, we thought he was at the zero. Well, tell me later, there's not much time. Once a starfield reaches critical mass, we'll be shut into the inrush. Where were we, Joe? Deleting rooms. But, Andrick, are you okay, Doctor? Pulling at the heartstrings, they are. Normalizing Bloody writers. Shh, come on. We've got to finish this. 17,000 tons of thrust, say 25% of the architecture. Well, Andrick, this is my proposition. Life will immediately become more comfortable for you and your forces. Just say yes, Adric. Go along with it. That's what I'd do. You may speak. What do you want me to do? Scientist, it's easy to be tyrannised by facts. It can work. But I didn't know it would be this chancy. Because it is still an if. You have to turn the if into a fact. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. One. So, this petty feud with the Doctor is over, Adric. You were wise to join me. All Time Lords regenerate according to the state of Anne. Something in here about what to do when it goes wrong. We must get him straight back to the zero room. Wait a minute. Ambient complexity is the cause of many of these failures of regeneration. Some real locations are known to have properties similar to zero environments, and in some cases are eminently more effective. Classic plainness, as exemplified by regions like dwellings of simplicity. Ah, Castro Valva. Dwellings of simplicity. Castro Valva. Are you sure? Well, that's what she said. When the TARDIS is on manual, you can't be certain of anything. Hmm. What do you mean? It's harder to fly than you think. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't just flick a switch. Castrovalva, here we come. Please. So, this air hostess person's flying today. Well, I wish her the best of luck. Well, we are moving. Soon I'll be safe. Here's the zero room. No, it's the one that's the room that's been taken. Jetsoned. On zeroing the coordinate differential, automatic systems reactivate the real world interface. See main door, the opening of. Valve. Looks very calm. Unscrewing the doors won't get us into the zero room, Doctor. It's gone. We burnt it up. Well, we can't hang about here all day. There's no way into the zero room, Doctor. It's gone. What do we do? Touchdown! Made me jump. We've made it. That's the idea. Make another zero room out of what's left. <laughs> That's brilliant. Not the CIA stat, but a landing's a landing. And unlike the TARDIS, it is very small. Well, it's not far 
gotta go anyway. You've seen it? It's an afternoon's walk away, more or less. We'll be carrying the doctor, don't forget. Oh, just as soon as I have it. Hey? You won't feel my weight. Oh. I'll make it easy for you. I'll be levitating. That's much better. There's a whole room full of clothes if you want to Honestly, you Doctor Who just never out. ceases to amaze I'll me. I just never thought I'd see the doctor in almost a coffin like box being wheeled around on a wheelchair in Castro Valva. <clears throat> was furry. expecting a castle. what is my absolute standout at the moment is having two really strong female characters and it's so lovely to see that these two women are leading this story so far really and it's um I'm all for women women empowerment and uh, girl power and something I've, I've always loved about Doctor Who is the strong female characters they have and um yeah I'm just I, I just really like this Nissa and Tegan team. Um, Adric, I assume, is going to pretend to be on the side of the master because of what else can you do? The Doctor... I feel like the Doctor took himself out of the box, but I don't know what those two people were. I thought they were fairy creatures, but they've just got coats on. Castro Valva is a castle. Um... thought it was a planet but they've gone somewhere uh i don't know why it's taking them to a castle because it's the it's the place the doctor should go after a regeneration it's all it's also really interesting this kind of link for me with christmas invasion where we didn't really have that much of the 10th doctor and you almost feel this sense of like not frustration, but this anticipation because you just want to see the Doctor in full force doing what they're meant to do. I want to see Peter Davison, you know, in his in his stride as the Doctor, but you're also very aware that we've got time for that. But I just, I want to get in the flow of things, you know. But hopefully by parts three and by parts four, we get to see a little bit more of 
of the fifth doctor in action because what i've seen so far i like and i just want to see his relationship with the tardis team who stays who goes etc so so far so good but as always there's a lot of questions and now the master being involved there's that many more questions it, the master being involved makes you second guess everything right there's not one thing that i would think maybe is straightforward because then you think yeah but what if the master's involved in that even with castro valva you know so let's leave it there thank you for joining me as always and i will see you very soon for part three